Thank you and welcome back. So the last lesson we talked about grades. Like I told you, like I told you, like I told you, we are not going to spend much time seeing the formula is the same with for remarks is that the same with that of grades. So I've already written the formula, but you can go to the formula bar to check it. So the only thing we need to change is the grading. We here with no grades remarks, so we have excellent, very good instead of A, B, C, and all of that. So for 75 to 100, it is excellent. So we we'll go to where our 75 and above is, and we we'll write excellent, excellent. I will go to very 70 to 74 is greater than 69. I will write very good. I will go to our C and write good. Good. Now I'll go to our D and write fair. I'll go to our E and write poor. Hey. Fed, 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 and we have very good there, that is for B, and we try it to get for the rest of the students, so that's that, so we always in time go to position, and position, you know, I told it is rank, so it's going to be rank. Now, for ranking, there is one technique added, say, uh, absolute referencing. So we we'll start with the question sign, write our rank, open the brace. Uh, the first thing is number, that's the number which you are testing against. What is the position of this number? That is Nietzsche number five. What is her position in the in the list of all of these students? Now we we'll pick her and put our comma. So for absolute references, we put, we precede the cell reference with an absolute with an with a dollar sign. That dollar sign tells you that even if it is copied, it should not evaluate. So that so that the cell reference sit down here will not be evaluated where the copy is done. So we now put the value which is L, then put a dollar sign here, then put the row number which is three and two. Like I told you before, is two. Right. And we now put our last number which is l17 but first we put the dollar sign and we'll put l put the dollar sign again and put 17 and put a comma the there is going to be order you know for zero it is descending that is we start with the bigger number and put it as the first but when we are uh, referencing ascending the list will be the first. In this case, we are giving the person with the highest score to be the first person. So we are going to use descending, which is zero, because it's an examination. You cannot give someone that has 10, uh, the position of 10, when there is someone that has just three. So we are using descending order. So that being done, we close our bracket and hit the enter key. So this person is on the 12th position. Now we can now drag it down to have for the rest of the students. So let's see the first person. The first person is uh, Ina Philip. And you could look at the average, it is 90. Is there any other score greater than that? No, that means our calculation is correct. So we I've done everything. Thank you.
for watching. We'll see the starting.